Shabbat Shalom. It's always this, like, a little disorienting to, like, come back right after Yom Kippur. <laughs> but nice, it's like this Hamish. Yai, lai, 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 yai, lai, 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 of Shabbat, page 24. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I know it's hard to imagine just two days after Yom Kippur, but we are still in the midst of the high holiday season, in that moment between Yom Kippur and Sukkot. We have celebrated the new year, we've engaged in deep reflection and atonement, and soon we'll have opportunities to sit in the temporary dwelling of our community sukkah, and then to conclude our annual Torah reading and go right back to Genesis when we celebrate Simchat Torah. But in the midst of this high holiday season, Shabbat does not pause, even as we find ourselves here for other occasions, Shabbat reminds us, I'm here every week. Shabbat is the constant. Every seven days, a time to pause and to reconnect with each other, with ourselves. And we come here tonight for many reasons, to sing and to pray and to remember and to reconnect with whatever it means to be a person right now, in a hard time, in a messy time, in a beautiful and fragile world. We come to be together, and we come for Shabbat, and Shabbat is here for us. We'll light our Shabbat candles to bring a little light into our space, and we'll invite Michelle and Zoe to join us on the Bima and light our candles 
If you'd like to follow along with our blessing as we officially bring in Shabbat, we're on page two in the Siddur. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our life, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kitushani u'bemitzvotam V'etzivanu Lecha hadlikner Lecha hadlikner over the course of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we stood quite a bit. We stood for many prayers, for Vidui confessions, for Avinu Malkinu, for our Torah services as we brought out our sacred scrolls around and brought them around the sanctuary. And every Friday night, we also stand. We stand to bring in the Shabbat bride, the spirit of this day of rest and renewal. So we'll sing Lachado Di on page 20. And when we reach the final verse, you're invited to rise and face our sanctuary door to welcome in that Shabbat presence. Lachado Di Likrat Kala Penei Shabbat lekabela lechado di likrat kavla penei Shabbat lekabela lecha dudi lechado di likrat kala penei Shabbat lekabela lechado di likrat kala penei Shabbat lekabela. Shahamor is a holy divurecha. He shmiad who will love you had a dunai had a shimo a had the shame of Tifer a felit hina. Lecha do di lecha do di likrat kala penishabane kabela lecha do di likrat kala. Shabbat <laughs> Shabbat <laughs> Even 
Now that we have lit our Shabbat candles and welcomed in the spirit of Shabbat, we turn to the Bar Hu, our call to communal prayer, on page 28, and we invite you to stay standing as you're able. We'll say together the words of the Shema, listening to one another on page 34. can be seated as we'll continue with Ve'ahavta on page 36. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi metzavecha hayom alevavecha v'shinanta ham levanecha v'dibarta ba'am b'shiftecha b'veitecha u'vlechtecha v'aderech u'shoch becha u'vkumecha Ukshar tamle ot aliadecha, vehayula tota fot bein e necha. Uchtav tam, amzuzot betecha, uvisha arecha. Le mahantis keru va asitem et komits votai, vietem kedoshim lalohechem. Ani adonai elohechem. Asher hot seti et hem, me ere. Mitzrayim, lehiot lachem, lelohim, ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem, Emet. Our prayer book is a sort of tapestry where traditions, texts, and hopes come together from different times and places. When we sing Mi Chamocha, we echo one of the most ancient pieces of Jewish tradition, the song at the sea, 
and remind ourselves that we too are part of this ongoing story of hope and anticipation. We're on page 40. October is somehow upon us, and it's starting to get darker a little earlier each night. And so Jewish tradition offers us Hashki Venu, a way to seek protection, to seek comfort as night falls. We're on page 42. Que vem o Adonai Eloque do Shalom, Shalom, Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we wake with morning's light. Teach us God wrong from right.
We'll invite you to rise as you're able as we turn to the Amidah, our central standing prayer, and we'll begin on page 46, setting an intention for this time of reflection. Adonai's fatayitivta Ufiyagi tehilatecha Adonai's fatayitivta Ufiyagi tehilatecha Oh, eternal God, open my humans that my mouth may declare your glory. Oh, eternal God, open my humans that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Elohe Avotenu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Leah Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vehanora El Elyon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Vekone Akul Bezoher Haste Abot Vimahot Ume Vigula Libne Venehem Lema Anshemo Be Ahava Mele Jose Rumoshia Umagain Babru Hata Adonai Magain Abraham Bezrat Sarah Atagi Borle Odam Adonai Mechaye Hakulata Rav Lechoshia Morid Hata Mechakel Chayim Bechesed Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim So Mech Nofli Verofe Cholim Uma Tira Surim Umekayahu <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai Mechayei HaKol Ata Kadosh Vashim HaKadosh Shukadoshim Bechol Yom Yehalleluch HaSala Baruch Ata Adonai HaEl HaKadosh We'll take some time now for silent prayer following the words in our Siddur, the words that are on our own mind and heart. And we'll come back together. You're ready. When you're ready, you're invited to be seated.
Sweet speaker, it hear my prayer. Help these words heal someone out there. I'm angry and tired. I am but a voice just to cry in the air. But I sing nonetheless this pain we share. Oh, sweet friends, come and dry your eyes. Hold each other by this tree of life. I'm angry and tired of this great divide. But I sing nonetheless with love on our side. Sweet souls who feel broken now We'll heal together somewhere, somehow Time and again we have been let down But we sing nonetheless Still hold and still proud When we join together in prayer holding the names of our loved ones who are suffering. We acknowledge the many ways that people can hurt. And by bringing our love and our yearning for their well-being into this space, we acknowledge the compassion and the strength that communities of care can provide to those who are part of them. We invite you to share names for healing in the chat if you're joining us on Zoom. And for those who are in the sanctuary, I invite you to rise if there's a name you'd like to share with me, a name for whom we can offer healing, and I'll come around and hear you. In addition to the names that have been shared in our chat and shared in our sanctuary, we add these names as we offer our prayers for healing. Stephanie Levitt, 
Marilyn Greenwald, Marsha Margolin, Francie Cart, Evan Ben, Lynn Etlinger, Larry Margolis, Gary Verbin, Larry Gurman, Rebecca Frazier, Marcel Frazier, Sherry Berenstein, Maxine Rogo, Ari Meskin, David Habib, Anna Tran, Lev Heschel Ben Badami, Suzanne Price, the Carney Friedman family, Carol Kleinman, Sergio Ripka, Carol Penn, Jessica Bobson, Abdullah Ibrahim, Cindy Brines, Louis Ellescu, Dolores Gould, Elisha Vachana, Sophia Khanna, Betty Nazarian, Bob Berry, Joel Cohen, Justin Pelsner, and Barbara Mevins. Oh, sweet speaker, it hear my prayer. Help these words heal someone out there. to all those who are hurting, to all those who are suffering, we offer these words and these hopes for peace and wholeness. Shabbat Shalom. Throughout the high holiday season, we have invoked Avinu Malkenu, a name with deep roots in Jewish tradition, first found in the Talmud when Rabbi Akiva calls upon Avinu Malkenu to hear his prayers and save the community from deadly drought, and God responds to this name and to this plea. Rabbi Akiva's words developed into our Avinu Malkenu as we too yearn to be heard and seen and protected. For many of us, these words or the melodies that we associate with them can be deeply moving or comforting. Hearing the gorgeous soaring music or singing along to the powerful folk melody can bring back memories or help us feel rooted in community or enable us to connect to the divine presence. But at the same time, I have to admit that Avinu Malkenu can be really challenging because of how it presents gender, hierarchy, and theology itself. While we often the re render the name as our parent, our sovereign, it's much more literally our father, our king. Intensely masculine images of God as a figure of authority and power to whom we plead for remembrance and compassion. That's not an image of the divine that fully speaks to me. And yet I love Avinu Malkenu for these many melodies, for the feeling of connection to community and history that it brings me, and for its duality of metaphors, parent and ruler, father and king, near and far to us at the same time. But I don't want us to limit ourselves to this one understanding of who or what or where God might be. Even those of us who insist that God transcends our limited human metaphors, that words like Father and King and Lord are just human shorthand for something beyond our understanding, even so, we can easily fall into seeing a Vinu Malkenu as our only image of the divine, with its masculine and hierarchical presentation. Rabbi Susan Silverman teaches that a limited view of God is dangerous. A limited God, one that is shaped into the image of the controlling few. This week we read Parshat Ha'azinu, which is filled with diverse God metaphors. Moses conveys God's greatness in a multitude of nature images, presenting God as a mighty rock and as an eagle protecting its young chicks. God is described as a warrior, yes, which is a traditionally male-oriented image of power and might. But God is also described as nursing the people with honey, 
using the Hebrew word for breastfeeding. This is an arresting image, a God who nurtures and sustains and feeds the people like a parent who feeds an infant. Moses tells his listeners that you neglected the rock who begot you, forgot the God who labored to bring you forth, the God who conceived and labored and birthed. With both begetting and birthing, this verse gives us a God who is beyond gender binaries, who is beyond human categories, who is beyond the limitations of language and metaphor. We have to call upon language and metaphor because those are the tools we possess, but we also need to continually question these images and diversify our descriptions and names for God. Theologian Judith Plaskow writes that using a broad and changing variety of metaphors brings home that God has many guises, none of which is final. Ha'azinu reminds us that God can be a Vinu Malkenu and also a protective eagle and also a warrior and also a nursing parent and much more. Liturgist and poet Marcia Falk creates fresh metaphors for divinity that draw upon biblical phrases and concepts, such as Ein HaChayim, the wellspring or source of life, Nishmat Kol Chai, the breath of all living things, and Nitzutzot HaNefesh, the sparks of the inner unseen self. All of these are names and possibilities for God that are just as Jewish as Rabbi Akiva's Avinu Malkeinu. In this Torah portion, Moses describes the connection between the Israelite people and God by evoking the patriarch Jacob. And our commentators, of course, are very suspicious. Why Jacob? Why not his father Isaac or his grandfather Abraham? Perhaps because Jacob is the one who struggles with an unknown figure through a dark and lonely night and emerges with new understanding and with a hard-earned blessing. He is the one who is renamed Israel, the one who wrestles with God. What would it look like for us to wrestle with our names for God? As we move into this new year, I want to invite us to see which divine names speak to us and which challenge us and which inspire us and to explore what it means to embrace the rich diversity of images and metaphors that we can use to connect to the divine. Shabbat Shalom. So at this time, we have some wonderful announcements which will be shared for, by, for us by our board member, Kathy Polinsky. Hello, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Rabbi Rebecca and Cantor Lana, for a beautiful service. Um, we hope you all have had a meaningful and uplifting Yom Kippur observance. I was delighted to see so many people here and on Zoom. If you missed or want to rewatch any of the services or sermons, you can find them on our PTBE virtual YouTube channel. I especially enjoy going back and watching Cantor Lana and the band. Thank you. It's been a, it is a very busy month. Um, the high holy days are not over as we roll into Sukkot. You are welcome to bring a brown bag lunch to eat in the sukkah from Tuesday through Friday next week, or participate in any one of our four Sukkot events that we are hosting. So first off, this Sunday, we will have a Sukkot celebration and family welcome for all of our families in our religious education program from 9 to 11 a.m. Uh, we hope all the families in the ed program can join us. Second, for anyone women identifying, our, our Bethel women are hosting an evening under the sukkah at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Please join us to socialize and discuss the next mitzvah project. Third, uh, next Friday, we will have a community uh, Shabbat dinner in the sukkah at 5 p.m. before services. Please register today if you can join us. Uh, there will also be a virtual sukkah Zoom gathering at 6 p.m. for those who are joining Shabbat services remotely. Uh, and so you can find the Zoom link in the newsletter. And last, it's customary to welcome guests in Surah Sukkah. The Interfaith Friendship Committee has invited our neighbors from St. Bart's uh, to join us for Havdalah and a community meal in the Sukkah. Uh, please join us in welcoming our guests for the special celebration. You can reach out to Anita if you have questions or register in the link uh, in the e-news blast. 
Uh, and if that's not enough, uh, Simhat Torah will cap our high holiday season. We hope you can join us for uh, a happy hour from five to seven on October 18th here at PTBE. Please register in advance so we can plan food and drinks accordingly. And that's not all. <laughs> um, the uh, PTBE news is filled with information about other events, so please read it carefully um, and contact the front office if you aren't receiving the emails. Our children's ed program kicks off next week and it's not too late to sign up. We also have several adult learning programs that start this month, so um, as well as community and volunteer opportunities highlighted in the e-news blast. Um, if you have been inspired by all the meaningful services and events here at PTB, I hope you will join us in contributing to the high giving campaign. Annual dues are not enough to support all of our programming, so your contributions really matter. Uh, our goal is to have 100% participation, and so we hope you'll consider contributing if you haven't already at any given level. And if you've already contributed, thank you very much. Um, finally, if you're new to this community, welcome. We are so glad to have you here. We're also excited to welcome new members to the BIMA next Friday at Erev Shabbat Services. And if you're interested in joining or want more information about our uh, community, please come talk to me or Kate Lazar in the back or call the PTB office. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. One of the reasons that many of us come to community, that we come to these gatherings of Shabbat, is to mourn and to remember. Judaism teaches us that we are not alone in our times of grief, that we come together, we hold each other, we comfort each other. This week, our community is remembering in their first month of departing Wally Levin, and Jane Rothschild. We're also remembering the yard sites of Dorothy Adams, Rachel Batat, Harry Berlowitz, Beatrice Bin, Ethel Brody, Walter Brody, Rose Cooper, Nora Corbett, Charles Delon, Dorothy Duberstein, Evelyn Durlester, Haim Samuel Ezekiel, Jack Finkelstein, Sylvan Human, Lou Jaroslavsky, Jaroslavsky, excuse me, Grace Lise Johnson, Susan Custer, Elizabeth Ledden, Sydney Lerner, Rachel Levy, Millicent Yalden Libby, Richard Meyer Livingston, Harriet Niss, Fred Onhaus, Bill Palmer, Larry Pelsner. Shirley Press, Avraham Sendrovich, Eleanor Shaw, Lena Simon, J. Peter Singer, Alexander Skernick, Elaine Sloderoff, Ralph Starr, Mary Tibbetts, Jean Tobias, Abe Wachter, and Bessie Epstein Weiss. If you are remembering a name that I just shared, or if you have other names to add in remembrance, or if I mispronounced the name of your loved one and you'd like to correct me, I invite you to rise. Are there other names in the sanctuary to add to our remembrance tonight? And for those joining us on Zoom, we invite you to share names in the chat so that we can be with you in memory. We invite the community to rise so that we can support one another as we say the Mourner's Kaddish on page 294. It kadal vit kadash shemei rabah. Ve'alma divra chirte ve'amlich malchute v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru amen yehi shmei raba mevarach le'alam olame almaya yitbarach v'ishtabach v'itpaar v'itramam v'itnase 
via ta dar, via ta ale, via ta lal, shame de kudasha, brichu, le ela min kol birchata ve sherata, tushbechata ve nechemata, da amiran be alma, vimru amen, ve shlama rabba min shamaya, ve chayim alenu ve al kol yisrael, vimru amen, o se shalom bim ramav, hu ya se shalom, alenu ve al kol yisrael, ve al kol yoshve teval, vimru amen. Zichronam livracha, may the memories of those we love always be a blessing. I'm invited to be seated. Steve Diamond, will you join us for Kiddush, please? It's always our willing pinch hitter without a bar mitzvah. <laughs> Let's rise for Kiddush. We're on page four. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Barei peri hagafen Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'ratzavanu Shabbat kocho, beahava uvratzon in hilanu, sikaron lemahase verehi sheet, ki hu yam tehila la mikrae kodesh, zecher litziat mitzraim, ki vanu acharta, beotanu ki dashta. Me call ho amim Bishabat ko checha Biahava uvrat son in haltanu Baruchatadonai Mikadehish Hashabat Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam Hamotzi lechem min haretz Amen Shabbat Shalom Thank you, Steve. It's I don't know the name for, I don't know how to say class. Oh. Yashikoch, Rabbi Becca, Shabbat Shalom. Should we sing everyone out? All right. But you don't have to run out. Stay with us. shalom 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 Aleinu Ve'akula Salam Aleinu Ve'akula Olam Salam 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 Aleinu Ve'akula Olam Salam Salam Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu Shalom Aleinu, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu, Ve'akulam. On Yavo Shalom Aleinu, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu, Ve'akulam. Salam Aleinu Ve'akula Olam, Salam, Salam, Salam. Salam, Salam. Odia 
Shalom. Shabbat shalom.